Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Warwickshire Outdoors. There's no bushcraft show this weekend. So Isaac and I and um, Isaac's mum are going to be staying in the garden and we've set you some challenges from the last video. I hope you've all had a go at them. So uh, let's get the garden sorted and we'll come back to you when everything's set up. See you soon. Right, we tried setting the tarp up uh, with some sticks, but it's so windy they just kept blown away. So I've got some paracord uh, and we've ended up attaching it to the tree down here. And we've done the same here and it just goes down and we attach it to uh, a fence post. Hi guys, I hope you can hear me over this wind. The wind is very strong, <laughs> blowing a gale. Um, we've had really excellent weather in the UK for several weeks now um, and getting temperatures of, you know, in the mid 20s, it's been really nice. Um, and um, all of a sudden they predicted very high winds for the weekends that we decided to make this film. Um, they were gusting 40, uh, 40 miles an hour that is, um, and I'm getting some very strong gusts. Um, hopefully it will die down by evening, I hope. Um, I've had this DD tarp up in a lot of extreme conditions, uh, hail, uh, you know, really bad rain and stuff, but this is the highest wind I've ever had it up in. It's really been pulled about. So if it stands up to this, I'll be even more impressed than what I am already. <laughs> So, Ruby and I are on our own. Um, Isaac and Carmen have gone out to the shops to get some stuff for, to cook on the fire um, tonight and tomorrow, uh, and some stuff for breakfast, um, and get some beer. And um, you and me are on our own, aren't we, Rube? Do you want to say hello? No? <laughs> um, now just to remind you the challenges were to sleep in your garden or look at alter an alternative if you don't have a garden um, if you look at the last video um, cook a meal on an open fire I also gave some alternatives to that um, carve a feather stick uh, drink a cup of nettle tea uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah make yeah sorry about that it was uh, the other two wanting to know if I wanted anything else from the shop. Um, yeah, the, the final challenge was to um, light a fire using natural materials like birch bark or something. Um, so hopefully I'll get some people sending some photographs. I had had some. I have had some feedback from a couple of people that live locally and stuff. They're going. They're going to have a go.
do you know I think this back garden wild camping could catch on <laughs> not only do you have access to your fridge your chocolate digestives don't melt what do you want? What do you think? I like it. You want to try it because of it? No, I'm just So what are you carving, son? Well, I'm not sure what, to, what I'm doing, so I'm just going to put a point. And I'm thinking about putting something maybe here. Okay. Like, so maybe have it as like a tent peg or something like ah, that. Oh, yeah, good idea. So I'm just trying to make this top bit. And it's very good, uh, safe knife uh, technique carving away from your legs. Well done. Yeah. So, do you remember all the safe knife techniques we learned before? Yes. Excellent. And you're using more knife, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so, it's uh, Friday night. It's uh, half past eight. It's getting cold. So Isaac is doing the birch bark challenge, aren't you son? Yeah. So um, Isaac's scraping up some birch bark. He's going to try and make a very nice mounting of birch bark scrapings, haven't you? Try yeah. scraping it a little bit harder son. Now Isaac's only done this once before. So this is something really new for you, isn't it son? Yeah. So uh, we'll come back in a bit when he's got a nice pile of shavings. So you can scrape it fairly hard, you see, some with a sharp knife. And if you have a pile that you think is big, big enough, um, it won't be, do it bigger. So you've got to take your time, build a nice pile. And once you've got a pile big enough, where you can add a few more bits of birch bark, then Bob's your uncle, which is my Well done. So Isaac's oh, made no. a tiny bit. He's scraping some filings into there now. And then he's going to strike a spark into that. It's only a very small pile, but we'll see if um, he's got enough just to light a bit more birch bark and get a fire going. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. You need to get the pile. Aim it on the pile. Yeah. Just caught the edge there. I'm just going to put some more. You probably need a bigger pile than that, but it, it'll catch. As soon as it catches, just put another piece of. Can you go in there? No, you need to shoot the sparks forward. Oh, almost. Almost. Keep going. Don't press down quite so hard, just throw the sparks forward. Okay. Ooh. Keep going. Use, use the tip more. Use the tip, use the tip of the steel more. That's it. Shoot the sparks into that pile. I'm just putting some... You're scraping sparks off, but you're not throwing them forward. Oh, there we go. Yep. There we go.
Okay, so lay your sticks that way. So lay your sticks long ways. That on way. top. Yeah, no, 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 no. That way, that way, that way, that way. That's right. Your thin sticks, lay them. Get them on before. The, no, don't throw them on. You're damping. Just put them on gently. Perhaps I think you need thinner sticks than that. It's not going to. It might catch. Birch bark on. Keep your fire going. Okay, put some wood. But it's just catching. They're not really catching, are they? We need really thin sticks. That's pretty thin. Is that one? Yeah, that's what we need. So he's just managing to save it there. Oh, there we go, son. Look, it's catching. It's catching. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Put a bit more bark on it. So you can put some bigger sticks on there. Don't put some bigger sticks on. Yeah. Lay it. Well done, Isaac. Thank you. How do you feel about that? Good, good. Yeah. Took quite a few tries, but... Well, it's all about perseverance, isn't it? The more you train, the easier it is. So that's going to go now. So basically, you can build that fire up as big as you want. Yeah. I think ideally, um, we should have got up a next stage of sticks, really, if I was yeah. doing it properly with you, but... You got the basics right now, so the more you practice that, the better you'll get at it. Yeah. So you can build that fire up now. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> You've already done well. You can have another go at the birch bark. Yeah, I think I'm have a go. Uh, but I think we need to get some more birch bark. Yeah. I don't think. We had big enough strips for you to have a go at. No. It's cooked off a nice big strip, you can just make plenty of scrapings then, can't mm. you? Um, but you got the principle, didn't you? Mm. And that's a really nice fire now, it's a perfect cooking fire now, it's burning very nicely. Maybe we could go for a walk and get some birch bark. Yeah, we could do, yeah, or I've got I've got um, uh, quite a bit of birch and a thing we can strip the bark off. Oh, okay, cool. Get some nice long strips for Mum to have a go in that tomorrow. Mm. There. Close to the camera. Maybe put a bit more level. Cloudy, 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 no
And now the fire is done, I myself a drink. Do marshmallows? Yes, yep. Yeah. She hasn't even come out for that. She's still in bed. Oh, she won't get up now till the morning. No, really not. Well. Oh, so Sonny, going to bed? Yep. Yeah, so uh, a good Friday, for a good first night? Yep. Looking forward to tomorrow? Yep. Excellent. What about you, Carl? I've got this to finish first before I go. Oh, yeah, you're there, yeah. The fire's still going a little bit. So um, we're going to go to bed now, guys, um, and we'll see you in the morning for breakfast, uh, nice and early, and a day full of challenges. Yep. Good night. Good night, everybody. Night. 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 Good night, Ruby. She's in bed already. She's already Ruby's asleep. already in bed. <laughs> She's not coming out. So, guys, here I am um, in bed in my Dutch Army hooped bivvy. Uh, very cosy. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep well tonight. I've had a good fire, I've had a good beer, and uh, yeah, very cosy. So um, I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night. Morning, really. Morning. Morning. <laughs> well, morning, guys. It's um, <clears throat> Saturday morning. It's uh, twenty past nine. Um, I've had a very light shower. Around about half five this morning. Only lasted about 10 minutes um, and the weather's got a bit windy and grey um, and a bit showery um, and it's supposed to be like that for the next couple of hours on and off um, so uh, we're gonna have some breakfast I've just had some coffee um, Carmen and Isaac have gone and had uh, gone for a quick shower so um, we'll bring you back when it's time for the challenges so um, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves and um, see you soon Yeah. Next day, I literally lost mm. pretty much no matches. 
some birch bark here, son. Now, this woodland that Isaac and I have um, taken um, a walk out to um, is local woodland. It's an ancient woodland. Um, it's originally part of the ancient forest of Arden. Um, it's a small pocket um, that is well maintained and well looked after uh, and that is public access to. What are we looking for now, son? Nettles. Right, we've got some birch bark, now we're going to look for some nettles. Uh, and we'll see when you've, we've found some. We have nettles and plenty of them. Mm. Right, let's pick a few of these, shall we, son? Yep. Ow! <laughs> I tried to do it without gloves <laughs> the brave way but I've got gloves now <laughs> it does make it easy with gloves I thought I was doing all right without the gloves actually Isaac for a bit and then all of a sudden bang I got caught mm. shouldn't have thought it then yeah I know got plenty of stinging apples all around us I think it's best to take, um, um, not the top new shoots, mm. but the ones just below them. So like yeah. these for example, they're still quite, they're full of nutritious and juicy goodness. Yeah. And you could keep the nice new ones to grow, so you don't, you're not harming the plant really. Mm. So I'm just going to gather enough, I can only get a bag full I suppose. Some nice juicy leaves here, look. Okay, uh, the other challenge, as I said, was making some nettle tea. We yep. gathered, gathered some stinging nettles, one of nature's superfoods. Um, they are so nutritious. They're much, much more nutritious than spinach. Um, and they're really good for you. So uh, we're going to take these home now and brew some nettle tea. Okay. Hopefully, let's not get stung again. No, I'm not going to get stung again. Good. Right, so here we are, peeps. This is the next challenge. And uh, Isaac's going to have a go at making his first nettle tea. Now, you have drank, tried nettle tea before, yep. but you never made it before, have you, no. son? Right, so the first thing we need to do is light this. I'm using the Trangia um, to, for this, to save on just burning wood. Um, we've got our nettles in here, which we collected earlier in the woods. Um, so Isaac, if you want to open that bag and tip your nettles into there. Check. Don't be scared of them, they won't bite. Yeah. But they'll sting. <laughs> You've learned that. you learned yeah. Is that out today? Yep. Oh. So, so if you want to put them in your water. Okay. And then put the lid on. Okay. So now you want you want to do, you want to light your trangia. Okay. So you okay. need um, a lighter or a stick for that. Have you got a long stick? I... Oh, see, see that long stick there? Yeah. Get this one. If you take that off there. A good way of lighting it. Okay. If you dip... The, not that we, yeah, yeah, sorry. if you dip that end in it, give it a good soaking that's it, take it out right, that's it now, put it in there and that should be it, take it out blow it out without blowing oh, sorry. no, it's not lit, try again try again ok, try again right, dip that in, in there that should be lit, I think blow that out Now just put your hand over there, if you can't see the flame, you oh, can feel it, yeah. that's on isn't it? Giving off a lot of heat. Yeah, okay, because you can't, it's, it's difficult to see that flame until it yeah. blooms. So you want to put your kettle on, on there. Okay, and then just let that boil. Okay. Now this kettle's titanium, so it gets quite hot, and the handles will get quite hot. Yeah. So you'll need some gloves or something to, okay. to 
take it off. Got some leather gloves, don't we? Yeah, so yeah. you don't burn your hands when you take it off. Mm. Um, but that will burn, and then you let that boil yeah. for a minute or so. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure you kill off anything that's on the nettles or anything. And then just let it um, stand for a while, like you would yep. normal tea. Yep. Um, and then just pour it out. And okay. You've got your nettle tea then. So we've got our cups ready, haven't we? Yep. So um, we're going to let the water boil and... Oh, also, what we're going to be putting in it... We've got some good old Warwickshire honey. We're going to be adding that to our tea. So we'll come back when the water's boiled. I don't know whether you can hear it, but it's drizzling slightly. It's sunny and it's warm. Um, the wind has died down slightly, but it's drizzling on the tarp. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah. But we're under the tarp and we're dry. <laughs> Alright, do you want to see how your tea's doing, son? Yeah. Oh, it's steaming. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. Excellent. I'll be boiling soon. Yeah. Checking it. Check. In a bit. Very good. Right, I think that's okay. done now, son. If you want to um, take that off and just put that to one side. Yep, definitely done. No, 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 keep the lid on. Oh. That's it. Just take the pot off and put the pot to one side. That's it. And now you want the um, the um, yeah, the sniff a bit, the douse a bit. That's it. That one. What you call it now? So just drop that on. There you go, and that's put out. Right, Isaac, go and pull the tea. Yep. A bit in each. It should be green. It is green, isn't it? Yeah, it's green. Nice and green, and green goodness. Put some honey in mine. So, Isaac's made his first nettle tea. Well done, son. Cheers. Ah, delicious. Nice. Yeah. Right, so remember, yep. so remember the techniques, yeah? Yep. Safety at all times and remember where to blow it. Yeah. Well done. Split that. Try again. Remember where that axe head is at all times. Okay, arm's length, get it lined up, a bit, bit closer. Try that. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Just try and use the grind of the knife to do all the work for you. And you don't have to put that much effort into it.
Uh, that's a better width for a feather stick. That's much better. That'll be more effective. The one I used was a bit too thick, I think. So how are you getting on some of yours? I mean, it's difficult for a first go. Yeah, so what you need to do is um, just try and get your curls down to the bottom. Okay? So you're not going to be able to get them down to the bottom now. So try try starting on another corner. Just leave them. Try starting from here and try and get, get try, go really slowly and try and get them down to the bottom. That's it. Don't rush it. Take it slowly. Perfect. Stop. Perfect. Ah. Don't worry if one comes off. This takes a lot of practice, this does, so don't worry about it. The more you practice, the easier it will get. Well done. Very good. Oh, that was a good one. You just come off right at the end. Started to get a good tech. I've figured out how to get a pretty good technique. Let's go and see how your mum's doing. Actually. Hey, mum's doing all right, son. How are you doing, Carl? Um, I'm all. You're finding it easier or hard? Um, I find it easier, but then when I get there, mm -hmm. they fall off. Yeah. So they don't stay on. It is something you just need to practice and practice. And obviously it just clicks once you just start to relax on your wrist, I think, a little bit more and just let the knife cut through the wood. Yeah. Depends what sort of wood you use as well. This is birch, I think. Which won't be too bad. But I've got that much. Excellent. Look at these two. It's like a cottage industry of feather sticking going on. Work harder, you two. You won't get paid. All our blade work and knife work is done for the day. So time for a beer. And it's Timothy Taylor's landlord. Isaac's going to start the cooking fire. He's got his kindling and wood already. He's cutting a bit of birch over there. Have you son? Yep. And we've got the fire ready. We've got some pasture in the pot there ready to cook. Hi everybody, welcome to Warwickshire Outdoors. We're live on Facebook, uh, we're in the garden. We've been living here since uh, yesterday. Um, we've got a nice little setup going on. We've got some food here. Um, we've got the campsite all sorted out. Carmen, you all right, aren't you? I am, yes I am. <laughs> I actually managed to bake some South African um, cakes. Yeah, we have. So if anybody's watching, send us a message, type in a message. Uh, let us know if you've done any of the challenges. Um, Isaac's made some nettle tea today. Um, we've done the feather stick challenge, which was really good. Uh, I had a go and Isaac had a go. And uh, we managed to do some really good feather sticks, actually. Um, with a bit of practice. So they're ready to go and uh, to start the fire. You enjoyed doing the feather sticks, didn't you? Uh -huh. Did you find it easy or hard? Um, for the first go, quite hard. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure the more I practice, the easier it'll get. Yeah. Okay. Has been carving the feather sticks. Because they take a bit of practice. Um, and it's just getting the curl on them just right with the knife. You need a very, very sharp knife, of course. But it's just getting the curl on them um, just right. So. Um, in theory, what you're supposed to do is get the curls bigger than this and um, as the curls come here, um, you make them finer and finer and finer. Um, so what you can do is um, ignite it with a, a fire stick. So if anybody can think of any other challenges that you'd like to have a go at by tomorrow, 
um, within reason, we might give them a go. I'll have done most of the stuff we were supposed to do. So we've got tonight's fire going and the final challenge is cooking on an open fire. We've got chicken, we've got burgers, we've got pasta. And uh, Isaac, you helped me get the fire started, didn't you, son? Yep. So uh, we'll uh, get some cooking on the, day, on the go and come back to you soon. The dock points. Did you go into the minus thing? Yeah. Tell him he starts with minus five. Are we getting ready for the clears? Yes. Who's late? Simon's late. Oh, five points deducted. It's Saturday night. We're getting ready for the for the weekly family quiz. My brother's late, so he's getting points deducted. What do you think? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> and we're cooking steak. Yeah. Well, guys, it's uh, Saturday night. It's nine o'clock. It feels later. We're tired, aren't mm. we, son? Yeah. Uh, it's been a long couple of days, but we've really enjoyed it. It's been really, really bizarre. <laughs> Staying in your back garden. Um, yeah, a strange experience, but an enjoyable one. And we've tried some new stuff, haven't we? Yeah, it's not the same, but. No, it's still it, it was weird, but um, yeah, we've had a good time. The live th event was really good. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so uh, we'll see you soon. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please click the subscribe button. Um, to get notifications of the next film um, I don't know what we'll be doing next mm. uh, but I hope you can join us and thank you very much for watching thank you bye bye, bye. Morning, good. Oh, morning son <laughs>